What's up guys, John here, and in today's video I want to show you three licks by the great gypsy jazz guitarist Django Reinhardt. Let's check out the first lick. It's over a C chord and it sounds like this. And let's say you had sort of a C6 chord just being comped like that, you could play. So to play this lick, put your second finger on the third fret of the A string. You're going to play that note and then go to the second fret of the D string with your first finger. Then you can use your pinky to play the fifth fret of the D string. So there's our first three notes. And this is actually outlining a C major triad. This is the root, third, fifth. Then we're going to do that same thing, but up the octave. So we're going to switch positions. We'll go to fifth position now with our first finger. We'll play the fifth fret of the G string, the fifth fret of the B string, then the eighth fret of the B string. So we've got root, third, fifth, C, E, G, or the fret numbers would be five, five, eight. So it actually does the same thing, just in different places of the guitar, you know, up the octave for the second time. Then we go to the A note, which is like, that's what makes this a C6 sound. So we've got root, third, fifth, root, third, fifth, and then the note A, which is the sixth of the scale. We'll play this note, and we'll go from five to six, back to five, all on the E string. So. Then we're gonna come back down arpeggiating a C chord. We'll play eight on the B string, five, five, five. And those are all changing strings. Five on the B string, five on the G string, and five on the D string. I would have never thought to play that, and that's the beauty of transcribing and learning from these masters, is I, I just wouldn't have come up with that lick. So learning it from Django gives me a new perspective. And it's very arpeggio based, right? We're playing chord tones, just going up. Little flavor there, getting the uh, flat seven sound. So it could be C, you could play this over C7. Right? It would work for either of those chords. You could play it just over straight C. So that's the first lick. So one more time, all together, we've got three, two, five, 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 eight, five, six, five, eight, five, five, five. your first lick. The second lick I'm going to show you, this is actually from minor swing. You'll hear this in that tune and there's a part where the changes go from an E7 to an A minor. So this would be what we call a 5 to a 1, an E7 to the A minor. And the E7 actually lasts for two bars. We're going to have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, A minor. And the lick goes like this. that sound starting on the E7, A minor. Okay, so that lick starts out walking down what we call chromatically, which is in half steps. We're going to play the 10th fret of the E string. We'll do each note twice. Then we'll go to 9, then 8, then 7, then 10 on the B string. 9, 10 on the G string, so, and then we'll play the 9th fret of the G string, and then we'll play, and that's 9, and then to 7 on the D string, 7, 7. 
Exactly. So. Now these are all eighth notes. We start on the and of four like this. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Then when we get to the A minor, we go one, two, three, four, which would be the fifth to the root. That's the second lick, and the third lick is again E7 to A minor, but this time the E7 is only going to last one bar, so it would be a 1, 2, 3, 4, A minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, resolution, and the lick sounds like this. So this is really coming across all the strings of the guitar here. We're going to play four on the E string, then six on the B string, seven on G, four, six on D, four, five on A, seven on E, then we'll play eight, Five. So we've got one and two and three and four and one, two. Each note is an eighth note. One and two and three and four and one. And then, you know, you can resolve to A minor. So the resolution basically, this is an E7 sound. And then here's your resolution to the A minor. So. that when you have just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And it starts out on the third of the chord, the G sharp, and then to the flat nine, seven, fifth, third, then natural nine, seven, five, and then this would be the third of A minor. Alright guys, well I hope this lesson helps you out, shows you three cool Django Reinhardt licks. If you learned something, make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment below, it really helps out the channel. For more information, if you want more things to practice, you can click the link below and get a free PDF of over a hundred pages of licks over major, minor, and dominant chord progressions. It's a book called Melodic Expressions that I wrote. You can buy it on the iTunes bookstore for $15, or you can get it at the link below for free as my gift to you. Thanks so much for your support, and we'll see you in the next video.